Well, what do you want? From the eternal sea he rises, creating armies on either shore, turning man against his brother until man exists no more. The Book of Revelations predicted it all. What are you talking about, man? He's already murdered a nanny and he'll kill again. He'll bring about destruction and tyranny. And with your wealth and power, he will seek to establish a counterfeit kingdom here on Earth, receiving his power directly from Satan. Who will? Your son, Mr. Ambassador! He is the Antichrist. But I don't have any children, and I'm not an ambassador. Oh. No, I'm a jello manufacturer from Ohio. I'm here to make a deal with Bird's Instant Whip. Now, you've been following me for days, and I don't understand why. Jello, you say? Yes, jello. Are you sure you don't have a demon child? Yes. Now, what's this all about? Forgive me. I made a blundering move. <laughs> Forget everything I've said. I must meet my destiny. So long. Hey, Benson, we're waiting, we're waiting. we need to talk about. just followed through. <laughs> what were you doing out there? Why didn't you answer me? What do you mean there's been a murder? Do you want me to answer all those questions? Hi, and quick. No, 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 no. Forget the first two. Just answer the third one. Just the third one? Yeah. Right, what was that then? Oh, I don't know. Was it the one about... What, what was the question again? Oh, I can't remember. Look, no, just answer the second bugger. What was that one? Oh, oh, bollocks. Start again. Right. Da, there's been a murder. That's the one! Bingo! Someone's ripped up Father Titmus. And up and outside St. Barney's, the police say the man who killed him is an escaped loony tune from the Russ Abbott Maddox. We're not to approach him. <gasps> Brilliant! Oh, yes! Thank you, God! Uh, this is just the luck we need! Oh. You can't say things like that, Dad. This is serious. Oh, well. We found the real directors. Death! means funerals, and funerals means business. And at the moment, we haven't got a pot to piss in. So I welcome any mass murderer with open arms. <laughs> Furthermore, I hope he kills someone else quick, because if not, Grattans will be knocking on our door, repossessing all our nice courts. Is it that bad? Bad? It's worse. Well, I've been looking for some gear to sell at the car boot sale this weekend. I thought we could make a few bob that way. Oh, aye. What have you found? Nothing. Great. I could sell my David Hasselhoff album containing his greatest hit. No, 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 no. Don't sell that. Hold on to it. He'll die one day. It'll be worth something. 
I mean, look what happened to my Pepsi and Shirley collection after they copped it. But neither of them have died. I know that, but everyone thought they did. Good luck, Pablo. Thank you, Percy. I'll never forget you. Oh. Oh. Free! <laughs> Free at last! Thank God! <laughs> <laughs> I thought your mother had taken her stuff with her. What in the name of Derek Griffiths was that? It came from the kitchen. One o'clock. Sort that. It might be that mad murderer. Well, you'll be all right. You're a big bloke. You're joking. The man's a psycho. It'd have to be a cretin and a fool to confront him. Yeah, you're right. Gwyn, go have a look. Okay. Well, that's not fair. We should all go. We've got more chance. Yeah. Okay. Come on. It's for good. Mr. Thomas? Yes? PCUs? Yes, I know. Your son has escaped from prison again. Now I have a warrant to search these premises. I, I haven't seen Percy since he went away. The prison warden reckons he escaped through the sewers. Percy is the least of your problems. There's a mad murderer about. Shouldn't you be looking for him? Oh. It's no mad murderer, Mr. Thomas. It's a wolf. Big dog, eh? Perhaps Digby did it. Look. I have a vacant sense of humor, young man. And if that was intended as a joke, it was lost on me. Now, there's a meeting at the town hall in the morning to discuss the situation. A meeting? What for? You're not going to cancel the car boot sale, are you? We'll see. Well, good night, sir. And beware the moon. Go on, get in there. Yakira. What in the name of the Academy Award winning Lewis Gossett Jr. are you up to? And who's your furry chum? This is Lisa, and we are going to catch the wolf. Why? Well, think. If we caught this beast, trained it up and kept it here as our pet, we'd have our very own killing machine. When nobody's kicking buckets, like now, we just send out the wolf and bosh, Armageddon in the valleys, money in our pockets. Hey, that's a fantastic idea, Purse. How does it work? Well, this is my decoy, and she happens to be the perfect replica of a female wolf. Oh, what does she do? I'll explain. Now, come here. Pay attention, 007. Oh, aye, aye. <laughs> right, what is it that all dogs want to do with each other? Um, run. Yes, but what else do they really want to do with each other? What else? Bark! No, but what do they really, really, really want to do with each other? Ah! Tango! Sniff! Sniff? The, each other's parts. Oh, sniff each other's parts. Oh, ah, yeah. Comprende? Si, si, comprende. Right. 
Well, the parts of my beast are special. What is that then? Well, all dogs are randy and constantly ready to cob a member of the opposite sex. So if I leave the lovely Lisa here in the field, that nasty wolf is going to see her and want to give her one, right? But he's going to be in for a shock when he tries. Why is that then? Put your fingers up there and you'll see. Yeah, what? I'm not putting my hand up her Calcutta. Come on, it's not real. Just put your fingers up there. bollocks or what? And you forgetting one thing. What if the killer wolf turns out to be a female? <sighs> then the plan's knackered and I've wasted 50 bob on this piece of shite. Look, it's almost time for this meeting. All oh, right. You can't come. You were supposed to be on the run. Twat boy's got a point. What can I do to disguise myself? Hang on, I got the very thing. There. They won't know you from Adam. Yakida! Yakida! Who's that? <laughs> Dad! Oh, who's that girl over there? That's Sean Bennett. She's the Bennett's daughter. Who are the Bennets? Well, you see those two men sitting either side of her? Aye. They're the Bennets, and they're dirty, rotten scoundrels. They've opened a new funeral parlour about a mile up the road from us, and ever since they came, our business has halved. Which one's her father? Well, both of them, kind of. They were Siamese twins joined at the Satchels, recently separated. The bloody freaks. Really? Yeah, Chan works in the funeral parlour with them. I like her. Percy, she's bad news. I don't want you winkling her. <laughs> okay, everyone, sit down. Oh, you are. Right. We all know why we're here. There's a wolf out there, and it's attacking people without remorse. And it has got to be stopped before it kills me, my wife, and our two little otters, Simeon and Bob. As you know, there is a bounty on this terror dog of almost £3,000. Right, now, I'll hand you over to the constable in charge, Constable Ertz, and after that, there will be cheap refreshments and weak entertainment in the back room. Ertz. Right. We have discussed in great detail how to deal with this problem. Firstly, we're going to put lookouts in all the fields. Are you going to cancel the boot sale? We're also going to hire an expert from the Canine Institute in Cardiff to help us find the beast. Constable Ertz, are you going to cancel the boot sale? Yes, yes we are. I'd cast this wool for you, but I value my nads at much more than 3,000 bucks. I'll find them for three, but I'll snatch them and gut them for ten. <laughs> for that, you get the head, tail, teeth, eye, skull, ribs, people, the frame. Yeah. Oh, damn thing. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Um, Quimby. I don't want no help. I'll go alone. There are too many trailer park trash wannabe dog catchers in this town. Just give me the money, and I'll do it. Solo. Come on, sir.
<coughs> okay, everyone. Meeting's over. You go and do your business. Look out, here comes trouble. Hello, Ava. How's business? Fine. Well, he was. Oh, couldn't be better. Our chapel of rest simply stuffed with bodies. We've got more meat than bee jams in our freezers, thanks to that wolf sent down from the heavens. Yeah, but uh, what happens if this uh, Quimby fellow kills it? You'd be finished, eh? Don't be daft. Quimby's a piss artist and a pike. He couldn't catch a fart. No. That wolf will keep us in business for a long time yet. I'm sure of it. <laughs> 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 so these twits. Listen, we've got to stop that Quimby from catching the wolf. Yeah. Oh, how are we going to do it then? Oh, look. I've got a bulbous Thomas. You know what that means? I've got a great idea. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Send the crazy old fellow. Oh, you going to... You miserable little son of a bitch! What do you mean you ain't coming, eh? Oh, send the crazy old feral all into the golden to. What do you want? I'm here to help you catch the wolf. I don't need no help. Actually, the mayor sent us. As he's paying all this money to find the beast, he's asked us to keep an eye on you. Oh, yes. And who are you? Percy Thomas, chief of police. And that is our, well, dog expert. He has two A-levels and one degree in dog and currently works for the RSPCD. He's here to make sure the dog is killed nicely. And what's that stupid-looking mongrel? That? Oh, that's Gwyn. He has no purpose. Not him! The puppet! That's not a puppet. That is a state-of-the-art animatronic wolf made by the Jim Henson Creature Workshop in Fraggle Rock. Fraggle Rock? Worthing. Very well. To be honest, I could do with a few new pairs of hands. I've just discovered that my trusty friend, Doug, has only seconds to live. Weak heart, poor soul. Right. Everyone aboard. Oh. Right. Let me make one thing clear. I'm the captain, and you're the cabin boys. Agreed? Agreed. Agreed. Right. And put your gloves on. Lord is with thee, blessed art thou, my mind, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Trap set. Aye, Captain. Bait in. All right, Gwyn. Fine and dandy, cheers. Good. Now all we have to do is wait. Christ, I'm bored. Patience is a virtue, Percy. We wait. You're right, it is boring. Have any of you got any dirty books? No, I have not. Percy? Of course I have. Go get them then. Right. Psst. Have you got any with sexy puppets? Aye. Yeah. Better put your gloves on then. Right. Much party to attachments. Make an insert into area six and join side Z and F into a rhombus. What the bloody hell's a rhombus? Oh, I can't understand this at all. It's impossible. Oh, I know. I'm in German. Attach pad A to attachment to T. Oh, Japanese. Spanish. Attach pad A to attachment C. Join a pad A to attachment C. So, how long have you been a wolf hunter? All my life. Yeah. I've been all over the world hunting wolves, yeah. Got the scars to prove it. Look. One day, there was this wolf. 
the size of a mountain bike, and, and he gets a hold of my leg and won't let go, and ha, I'm a kicking and a, and a pounding his eyes with my fists. But that wolf had locked his jaw. And when a wolf does that, why, you're finished. Unless, of course, you know the trick. <laughs> what trick's that then? You stick your fingers up his ass. <laughs> and unfortunately for the wolf, it was my string plucking hand. <laughs> and with a yelp, he let go and ran off squealing like a pig. <laughs> and what about that one on your neck? Oh, my wife went mad and slit my throat, yeah. She had an obsession with collecting Adam's apples. <laughs> and one day she tried to steal mine. And the one on your head, another bite? No, oh, a cyst. Took it out myself. No way! Yeah. All I had was a bottle of vodka, yeah, some special left-handed scissors, some savlon, oh, and a pot of KY jelly. <laughs> But that was for something different. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh. Show me the way to go home. I'm tired. I don't want to go to bed. Uh, I. Um. I. Put your gloves on, boys. We got company. It's, it's a wolf. Look, it's headed towards my trap. Come on, let's go. We must have lost that bastard wolf. Come on. <laughs> okay, this is as far as we can drive. We have to go the rest of the way on foot. What was that? My trap! I knew it would work! Come on! Put those gloves. Ready? Like a lion. One, two, three! Oh. Oh. Mr. Bear! Oh. You won't tell my wife, will you? Oh! oh. Gwen! Oh. What's happened to him? Oh, the silly bugger's got himself eaten. Matters! This time it's personal! Right! Let's tell him! But first, I'm dying for a number two. It'll take about a minute. And I'd better put my gloves on. Poor Gwyn. Aye, he's pedigree charm now. Anyway, at least he's gone to a better place. If a wolf's stomach's a better place, I, I don't know. Come on. with his gloves on. Great, that's it. Where are you going? I'm going home. I've had enough. It was a silly idea in the first place. Don't be a novice. Too many people have died. I can't take any more. All right, then I'll do it on my own. You great big wet chicken. You great big wet huggies wearing diaper chicken. You go. Oh. Ah, well. To get all my time at Top of the Pops to set the tape, it's a then Jericho special. Right. Let's kill this wolf. Come on! Come on! Come on! Oh, there you go, mister. Thank you. It's all right. 
We got a lot of problems with this particular model. But the last fellow who called me out to assemble one of these was a funeral director just like you. Really? Yeah, yeah. That was about six weeks ago. I don't remember because he had this, uh, it's all dirty great wool. Yeah, it was a metal muzzle. Nasty thing it was. Hang on. That wouldn't have been the uh, Bennett's place, would it? About a mile up the road? Yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah. Anyway, thank you for the tea. I haven't given you any. Never mind. God will make you pay in one way or another. Good day. All right. Come on, we're going out. What is it? <laughs> I'll explain on the way. Come on. I told you so. Fetch that! Fetch! Come on. Smile, you son of a bitch. <laughs> We're rich! <laughs> Thanks to that work, we're going to be the biggest funeral directors in Wales. Today, Swansea. Tomorrow, Swanage. Then, the world. And with any luck, Roger is feasting on those Thomas brothers as we speak. <laughs> there he goes again. Where was I? Oh, Ivor Thomas. What can I do for you? Cup of tea? Coffee? Don't come, the innocent with me, Bennetts. I'm on to you. And what exactly are you on to? I know why well, you've been having so much business lately. That wolf was you, isn't it? Huh? That's why you've been making so much money. You've been training it to eat people. Oh, shut up your face, Ivor, and face facts. What facts? You're finished. No! You have no business. No bodies and no money. Gwyn is dead, and with a little luck, so is Percy. Oh, no, I'm not. And neither is Gwyn. Oh, and look. It's the reward. Yes, a cheque made payable for £3,000 to Percy Thomas, me. We are back in business. You killed Roger the Wolf? No, not exactly. You see, <clears throat> as I had the gun, I looked into his eyes. And he looked into mine. And I don't know what it was, but... We fell in love. And that's why I told him about you two Siamese twats, you see. Anyway, that's why I got into pose, dead in a photograph, and hey presto, reward in my pocket. What do you mean Gwyn is still alive? What is Gwyn? How can you talk to animals? You want to ask all those questions? Yes, and quick. Actually, forget the first two. Just answer the third one. Just the, the third one? Yes. Well, what was that then? The one about you talking to dogs. No, no, that was the second. No, 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 that was the third one. The second one was... No, I want to be not. That was the first one, yeah. Never mind all that rubbish. Where's the wolf now? Oh, Roger. Oh, he's just behind me. R Roger. Roger. Oh, well. I guess his work here must be done. Maybe tomorrow I want to settle down. Until tomorrow I'll just keep moving on. What in the name of Michel Pfeiffer was that? I done it. I shoot at the wolf. All by myself. So if you wanna join me.